guys, welcome back to my channel, and you know, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles, and today's video is very, very exciting. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new products that I'm going to be releasing in the Herpetology shop. So for those of you that don't already know, I do own a shop geared towards reptile moms and the women in the reptile community, and it is called Herpetology. So my shop can be accessed on Etsy. Um, I don't have like my shop's own platform yet, so I am selling through Etsy, um, but yeah, so I have a lot of new products coming and I wanted to show you guys all of them because you know it's been a lot of mugs, decals, painted signs, I've got a lot of new stuff coming and I am so, so excited about all of it. And by the time this video is up, all these items should be in my shop for you guys to go check out. And the shop link will be in the description below. So first on the list are serving trays. Now I was inspired by this one day because I was like, oh my god, I wish I had one of these. Before I got my fridge up here, I did get a fridge for my bedroom so I wouldn't have to keep going downstairs every morning to get animal food. Before that, every morning it was up and down the stairs getting food in the kitchen for my animals. So now we have serving trays for you guys that have to go from like one room to another to feed all your animals. And this is what they look like. I'm going to show you one at a time so you get a good look at them. So the trays are painted white. And then I'm trying to get it so that you can see the decal without a glare. And then you've got a paint board backing this floral t-rex design and then it's all sealed in with resin so you can see it's shiny makes it nice and protected so this is one of them and this one is my favorite is the other one so it's like so it's like a holographic kind of vinyl can't tell if you guys can see that well or not. I'll insert a picture too. So right now these are the only two that are going to be in the shop. I might make more depending on what everyone thinks of these. So let me know in the comments what you think of these. If you think I should make more or not. It's just stuff I've been messing with trying to get new products in the shop. This one will be a little... This one will be marked down a little bit compared to the other one because this was the first one I did and I was messing around with snake sheds. Um, so there is some snake shed stuck on throughout here, which looked really cool. And then I put the resin on, and you can kind of see them, but not really. It just looks a little bumpy where the snake shed spots are. So this one will be marked down a little bit in the shop compared to the other one. Next up, I've been talking about reusable bags for months. Like before I moved back home in December, I was planning reusable bags. Never happened. Now it's happening. So I have these nice thick black canvas bags with a gold design. And I do have another side. This is the oopsie side. This is the side that I did when I was playing with my new heat press before I figured out how to work my heat press. This is the good side. This is the side you guys want to see. So these will be in the shop along with several different bag designs. So you'll select your design and they'll all be in gold. And yeah, so I like that these are nice and thick. They feel really sturdy and they're a really good size. To go along the topic of bags, I do have drawstring bags now as well. I don't have any finished ones to show you, but I've got these blue drawstring bags and these like light purple bags. I'm in the process of getting sparkly white vinyl for these, so I will have these up soon or have one to show soon, but these are two more bag options that we've got now. All right, next up. My tong jars are one of the most popular things in my shop. If you haven't gone and looked, I have mine right here as an example. It's a white jar, so painted with white chalk paint, and the bottom has some sort of holographic, shimmery 
I don't know what to call it, paint. Um, and then I hand paint the word tongs on it. As you can see, I store a lot in here. It's great when you have a lot of stuff. However, they're kind of big for people that only have like one reptile. So I've got my mini tong jars now. So these are just glass jars. So these are glass jars with a gold painted bottom and it says tongs on them. I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting. But just like how these say tongs, so does this. So another new thing in the shop are these blue wine glasses. So I thought these were so cool because they're blue and they have a gold rim. So these look super fancy. So I only have a couple of these. I think I have four of them. And just like the wine glasses in the shop, you can select this, select your design. The designs will be in gold though to match the rim. So I didn't do one to show you guys because I only have four of them. So if people want to buy them, I want them to be able to pick their designs and not waste one and have no one end up getting that one. So here's the wine glass with the gold with the gold rim. So if you guys are interested in that, let's be in the shop. Continuing on with drinkware, we have these really fun colorful cups now. I've got these little ones. I'm not sure how many ounces this is. And I've got these big ones. Now because they're really fun and I've had a lot of people asking for normal drinking cups, I was trying to come up with like adult reptile puns and jokes to make them like adult cups. I didn't get very far. This is pretty much the only one I've got. But it says, I like big balls and it's got a ball python on it. Um, this one is just cute. It just says little stinker with a bearded dragon because I think bearded dragons are the stinkiest reptile in my opinion. Now all of the big ones, they do have some damage to them, so they will be an oopsie sale item, which means they will be discounted. I thought the cups were just still super cool, so even though they had some imperfections, I still wanted to use them because they're like a nice size and they're really pretty. And by imperfections, I mean like just some scuffs, like you can kind of see right there, there's kind of like a scuff, but I put the design on like the nice non-imperfect side so you don't even see the scuff when you're using it but yeah so these will be discounted because they are imperfect the little ones they are perfect though continuing on in the kitchen towels hand towels for your kitchen so i've got these kind of like white farmhouse towels that are really popular and then I've been trying to play around with some patterned towels. The issue with these is that you need a really blocky, thick design so that you can see it and it stands out from the background. So this is what I did on this one. I honestly would have liked the bottom half to be a little blockier. The top half shows up really well. The bottom half is a little small. But it says, it says reptile mom life. And it says rodents in the freezer salad in the fridge scales in my heart because those are your average things to find in a reptile mom's kitchen and then to show you guys kind of like the farmhouse ones I did um, this design you guys have probably seen on some of my chalkboard signs but it says snakes and coffee you see that? there it goes snakes and coffee and then we've got my personal favorite Many have eaten here. Few have been eaten with a snake because everyone thinks our snakes are going to eat us. And then the last one, which took forever. I love it, but it took so freaking long. And that is a Medusa towel. So all of the more simple towels like this that you'll find in the shop they will be black with a kind of gold pop so you can see you've got a coffee cup in gold and a snake in gold and then i'll have some of these more intricate designs um they'll just be plain black though um and they'll cost a little bit more than these because this takes forever but they look so cool but they take forever <laughs> but so those are kind of some of the things that are going to be new, these nice towels. 
I'm gonna keep messing around with more of the pattern towels to bring fun pops of color too. Okay, we got two things left. So this next thing are coin jars. So I have one that I've had for years now. This mason jar that says, like you know, I can twist my arm enough. It says adventure fund with an elephant on it. So I wanted to offer something like that in the shop. So I got these little things, they are plastic, they're not glass. I thought they were glass, I apparently didn't read the description when I ordered them. So they are plastic, which just means they're less likely to break during shipping, which I guess is a bonus. But I did one that says Expo Fund, and it's got a snake, a lizard, and a frog, trying to be inclusive. And this one says Dream Herps, and it's got a frog and a snake, trying to cover all the herp areas. And I personally want one of these because I really, really want to try colored hot nose and I feel like that would help me save up. But, so all of these, the text comes in white and the animals come in that same kind of holographic vinyl that you saw on the serving trays. So you do get to pick your color holographic vinyl. I tried to do like a black vinyl for the text and it just didn't stand out enough. So I wanted something that would really stand out on them, which white really did. So the text will be white. You can pick your color for the holographic vinyl though. But you can see they've got that little, uh, they've got that slit in the top to put in your money. I love these things, they're so cute. So now we're on the last thing. I've been saving these for last. These are the things I've been most excited about. I couldn't wait and I actually posted them on Instagram in the herpetology shop on Instagram and um, on my personal Instagram, ZA Reptiles, and you guys have been like really patiently waiting for me to put these in the shop. You guys have seemed super excited about these, and that is some coasters. So we do have a gecko slash lizard, frog, and snake coasters, and these are floral coasters. So they're super cute, just like the Medusa towel. They take forever, but they're so cute, so they're totally worth it. So I'll show you them one at a time. So here's an example of the gecko. This lighting is really weird. There we go, I can see kind of better. So it's nice and floral. And let me see if I can change up this lighting. There we go, now you can see better. So it's a floral animal design on top of a like paint poured styled um, coaster. And then they're sealed with resin so that they are hot mug safe with a quirk backing. So that's the gecko design. Then we've got the floral frog set. And then this one's my favorite. We've got the floral snake set. So how the coasters are going to work is I have a ton of these coasters all painted, ready to go, different colors, so you can look at the picture, select which coaster you want, and then you select whether you want the gecko, the snake, or the frog. I slap it on, I pour resin over it, and they're yours. Now I kinda lied, I'm gonna show you guys this, this isn't going in the shop, but I wanna get your opinion. Um, I was looking at doing some hats, like some winter hats. I already have baseball hats, but like winter hats. And what do you guys think? Do you guys want me to carry these in the shop? Would you be okay without them? Is there something, is there, are there something you would like? If there's an interest for them, if there's a want for them, I'll definitely do them. If no one's interested in them, then I'll just put my time and energy and money into the other products. So. Let me know what you guys think if you want me to put beanies in the shop. So the last thing I want to add is some insight to a future giveaway. So on Instagram, when Herpetology reaches 1,000 followers, I'm going to be doing a Reptile Mom giveaway. And the giveaway involves this bag I showed you guys earlier. So this would be classified as an oopsie bag. You know, this side was an oopsie, it's not perfect, and it's double-sided because I didn't want to waste another bag. Normally I would still sell my oopsie items because I still put time and energy into them. I just severely discount them to try to pay off 
the supplies I use to make that product. Plus when I sell an oopsie item, the imperfections are usually pretty minimal. Like I could still probably sell them for full price, but I want to keep a good reputation, so I'm not going to. I'm going to discount them for you guys. So, but instead of selling this bag, because, I mean, it's double-sided, it's still really cute, what I'm doing is for my giveaway, I'm going to take this bag and I'm going to fill it with herpetology goodies for one lucky person. So if you'd be interested in this bag full of goodies from my shop, make sure you are following my Instagram account, her underscore pathology, and tell your friends so that we get to a thousand followers quicker so that we can have this giveaway because I am super pumped for this giveaway. I almost want to do it now, but I'm going to wait because 1,000 followers is a big deal. So we're going to do a 1,000 follower stuff the bag giveaway. So I do have a couple other new products that I'm really excited about, but they're going to be in a separate video because they kind of all have this one theme that I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, so I'm saving them for that video because there's a couple more things I have to do for like that kind of grouping theme of products. Um, but yeah, so those are some of the new products in the shop. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys ever want to see products that aren't already in the shop, you guys can just let me know. I love getting new ideas and creating new things. So if you guys liked the stuff you saw today, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I do plan on doing a lot more um, herpetology related videos because a lot of you, when I announced my shop, asked me to do more videos on it. So I plan on doing that. And make sure you go and follow Herpetology on Instagram so we can get to a thousand followers and have that awesome giveaway. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you for the next video.